Hello, today we're going to tear down this bread machine. I found it at the recycle center. It was left on the freebie table, so I grabbed it and said, hey, I wonder what kind of components I can find in this thing. So that's what we're going to do today. So there are certain interesting parts to this uh, board. A few good components, there's some good capacitors in here. There's a buzzer, a uh, sound buzzer there. Um, what I find interesting here is that the power cable was actually soldered to the board. So what they had to do was feed it through the plastic case, solder it to the board, and then attach the board into, into its spot in the machine. So I'm guessing that was all done by hand. There's no, I, unless they had a very sophisticated robotic system to put it in place, that was probably done by a human. Um, so there's some interesting components in here. I will probably salvage if for future projects. I've hooked up the soldering iron. I want to see if I can remove the power cable uh, to desolder the points on this side of the board. So the power cable was soldered uh, three points on each side of the power cable. It wasn't that very hard to get out with the soldering iron, but uh, I find it interesting the connection that was soldered to the board. I don't see any microchips on here. It's all components. A lot of transistors, resistors, and capacitors. A relay. Awesome. So what I found on the inside, I was able to pull the can all the way out, and this is all metal. On the inside was the element that heated up the inside of the bread machine. This is what helped, uh, did the heating, did the baking of the bread. Attached to the side in a shield was this little sensor element which I'm guessing is what the machine used to make sure the element didn't get too hot and burn the bread. So this was actually attached to the side like that inside a shielded uh, piece of plastic. I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, the wires and the little uh, attachments are going to be useful in the, in the future. I find this probably the most interesting part of the whole machine. It's got an LCD, a black and white LCD screen. I believe it's black and white, I could be wrong. A whole bunch of push buttons and LEDs, which are standing so far away from the board that they'll be useful in future projects. The push buttons are, should be easy enough to get out. I may have to use the suction soldering iron to remove all four points. Um, there's a few decent capacitors, electrolytics, um, with some long enough leads, I might, they may be useful. Um, there's the microprocessor. 
I don't see a number on it. Looks like it was covered over. Um, but there's a date, 2008, when this was built. Pretty cool looking board. So I was hoping there were some ball bearings in this little spinner thingy. Yeah, might be an option for a fidget spinner, but from what it looks like, it's just a greased pole inside of a shaft. Or a shaft inside of a, I don't know what the words are called, but no ball bearings. So, oh well, not a big deal. So I got the motor out, and it's a pretty hefty motor, I'd say this is a good 5 or 10 pounds. Um, but the side says it is needs 120 volts, so I'm thinking it needs to go directly to the plug to spin it, which we might play around with at a later date. But uh, this would be interesting. Um, to see what I can use this for. So I've taken this bread machine completely apart and we found some pretty good components. If you have any suggestions as to what I can use the components for, what kind of projects I can build, please leave them in the comments down below and we will see you next time. Hello, today we're going to tear down this bread machine. I found it at the recycle center. It was left on the freebie table, so I grabbed it and said, hey, I wonder what kind of components I can find in this thing. So that's what we're going to do today. So there's some 